Okay, so our clips have finished encoding. You can see that the status is now green. If we click on our little scroll bar, let's move over here to the left. So we have our video clip and our audio clip. So let me show you how to make a simple DVD without a menu that just fades up from black. What I want to do is click right here on the little thumb of the video clip. I'm going to click and hold down with my mouse. And I want to drag and drop this right here on the track one track. And I'm going to let go. So now you can see that it changed the name of that track. And it went ahead and pulled the audio clip with, with it. If you look down here at the timeline and see where it says track, you can see the video and the audio. There's V1 and there's A1. And if we take our little slider here and we compress the timeline, if I move this to the right, you can see how we're compressing the view of the timeline and you see the markers that we made inside of Final Cut are also embedded in this clip. All right, so now what we wanna do is take a look at the DVD Studio Pro interface so that we can actually link up our DVD. So over here in the top left, this is our outline view. And we have other views. You have graphical view and story view. We're gonna stay in outline view for now. Over here on the right-hand side, notice this button that says Menu. This is actually where we can design our menu, which we'll do in a later tutorial. And here we have our template or palette window, our palette window with our templates and our buttons and other stuff. But like I said, on this DVD, we're not gonna have a menu, it's just gonna play. And then this window here is what's called our inspector. And this is a very important window. If we accidentally close out the inspector or the palette window, up here on the top right hand side of the DVD Studio Pro menu, if you see these double arrows, if we click and hold down, you can see that we can choose the palette or the inspector. I'm gonna click on inspector, and here's our inspector window. So what we wanna do is click right here where it says untitled DVD. If we click on that icon, you can see that the inspector now represents this item. Notice that we can name our DVD. And I'm just gonna call this one Night At. Press return, notice how the name of the DVD kicks in. Now this is very important right here where it says first play. Right now it says menu one. Remember we don't want a menu. We're gonna click and hold down and we're gonna to go to tracks and stories and we're gonna choose movie edit and we can choose track or start. It's really the same thing. I'm just gonna choose track. And then what we want to do is come over here and if we click on the track itself, it'll actually change out the property inspector and we can actually choose what's called an end jump. Uh, if we leave it to not set, the clip, when it's finished playing, it will just stop. If you want to make a DVD that loops forever, say for an art show, you would actually go and choose the same track at the beginning. Tracks and stories, the name of the track, and choose track, and that way it will loop forever, okay? Notice that we can also specify the display mode of this clip if we want it to be in 4x3, which this clip is, or if it's a widescreen clip. Okay, so let's go back and let's click on the DVD right there, and let's just check our settings before we simulate it. First, play that track. We can see that it's a standard definition DVD that we're in NTSC. Okay, we're actually ready to simulate our DVD. I'm just gonna close out the inspector window and right here on the top menu bar, see where it says simulate. If we click on the simulator, it'll actually open up the DVD and it should start simulating. There you go, you can see it fading up. And then if we wanna test our markers, if we click on the jump to marker, you can see that we're jumping around in the clip to our different markers. Okay, our DVD works. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the simulate window. So if our clips are encoded, if we scroll over and take a look, you can see the green status. If you're happy with your DVD, you can just go File and go to Burn and insert a disc, and you've just made your first simple DVD without a menu.